It's time for another weekly reset and what I wanted to talk about today is my weekly reset routine. So if you're new here, I wanted to welcome you, say hello. My name is Bear Cozy. If you don't know me, I strive to make not only entertaining but also educational videos. I like to make account progress videos and I like to make guides. And today I wanted to talk about my weekly reset routine. Since it's reset time once again, let's go through my routine and I'll show you exactly what I do and how I start out my week. So without further delay, let's go ahead and do our daily summons. That is how I like to do it. I always like to pull my shard, my free summon. There's a free daily shard you get every single day. Sometimes we get something good, sometimes we don't. But at any rate, the shard is free. So I go ahead and make sure I use that because even if I don't get anything good, it helps me to get closer to Mercy. And then of course, I still have a bunch of shards to pull and I may or may not pull for Garonul. I'm not really sure yet. I wasn't planning on it because I just got Blackhorn, which was amazing from the limited summon pool. But since we are here, which already changed by the way, the limited summon pool just rotated and right now it's time for Gangalo. So if you don't have a Gangalo, now is your shot. So what I wanted to talk about today was my weekly reset routine. And the very first thing I do, of course, is I go to my mailbox and I claim all of my things. I get the silver daily card, which I get that daily. And then arena reset. I didn't really play much arena this week. I had a lot of stuff going on, so I don't get a whole lot of rewards, but I do get some. So that is the first thing I like to do is I like to claim my arena reset. Once I claim that, I go down to the banker and I go right down the list. And actually, before we do that, what I do is I go to guild and I run my banker. I do my sign in for the guild tokens. And then of course I do my battles and everything like that. I auto battled today and I got under a mil. Usually I'm a little bit over a mil, which is nice, 1.2. I'm a little bit under a mil right now because I autoed it and that wasn't the best. But I go through and claim all this and then we'll go right to the banker and I'll show you exactly how I go down the list. All right, so now with that out of the way, here's what I do. I go right to the banker and I start with the gold shop. Now in the gold shop, there's lots of things that you can buy and you can actually refresh. This one doesn't have too many, but starting on the left-hand side of the banker, I go through and I buy the water crystals, which I have way too many of, but uh, yeah, I need more water heroes. I do get these advanced weapon charms. These actually help a lot. And what I actually do is I go through and I get scrolls if I need the scrolls. And that is used with gold and gold is fairly easy to get. I buy the scrolls, that one I don't need, but yeah, I complete the uh, weekly quest there. And then what I actually do here, if you need the jelly, feel free to buy the jelly as well. I got a lot. What I actually do here is I actually hit the reset right here and refresh one time. So every time it cycles out. And as you can see on the right hand side, I have six hours before the next refresh. So every time we get a refresh, I refresh it once with diamonds because a lot of times that allows me to get more weapon charms and more advanced charms, more scrolls, a lot of times I get legendary stuff as well. And actually speaking of legendary stuff, I'll get there in a second. I'll go through and buy these scrolls because they are cheap, they are they cost gold. And if you need jelly, you can buy jelly. I have a lot of jelly. I typically like to keep a 10,000 or a 10 million reserve on jelly. Right now I have almost 12 and I've leveled up a bunch of heroes, but sometimes I'll actually get really good things here. I'll get legendary gear charms, which is really nice, or I'll get uh, level five legendary scrolls and I buy those. That's the reason why I reset once. You don't want to reset it too many times because it, it begins to scale and it costs too much. But what I did want to mention here is for those of you that cannot farm average set, this is what I did. This is exactly how I got my average set from here that I have Sierra in. And Sierra is amazing in an average set. Everything that she's wearing, and I can go over her, uh, I, can go sh I can show you her gear at the end of this, but everything that Sierra is wearing, I got it from this shop. And actually, I wasn't in a hurry to farm it, but that is just kind of how it happened. As I reset, you get a second chance to get something really good. This time around, I didn't get anything great, but still usable stuff. And as I went through and as I seen good average gear, I end up grabbing it like the Rage Pendant here. This is actually not too bad. It's a six star attack pendant. The secondary stats are okay, but since I have a lot of gold, I'll go through and I'll just buy this. And if I roll it, I roll it. If I don't, I don't. And the boots are okay as well. These are only five star. I will not buy them, but a lot of times there's six star gear in here, which you can buy with gold. And of course, gold is very easy to get. Coming down to the diamond shop on the left hand side, here is my routine going forward. I go ahead and buy these advanced summoning crystals. You can get three of those every week. And I go ahead and buy those. And those are fairly cheap. 
If you need pumpkins, if you need foodies, you can go ahead and buy them. I usually buy the four-star pumpkin. I don't buy the three-star pumpkins. I have a lot of them. Usually by the time uh, the hero leveling event comes up, I have a lot of pumpkins and a lot of foodies. But if you need them, you can get them. And right here is where I stop. I typically don't buy anything else here unless I really need advanced summoning crystals and I have a lot of diamonds, which right now I have quite a bit, so I can buy some more later. Going down to the guild vault, which is the next. As you can see, right now I have a thousand guild tokens and I've been working on Yolanda. Now, this has been a really, really tough decision for me to either work on Yolanda or get gear because, as you can see, you can get some really, really nice gear if you pass up, not this dragon necklace, but you can get some really good stuff, especially gear that pops up, six-star legendary gear. And this is something that I've struggled with, but I personally decided to commit to getting Yolanda. Right now, I'm at 70 Hero Matrix out of 100. It is time for me to buy one more, so I'm going to be buying one more with the gold tokens. That puts me up to 80. That means that I need 20 more and I will have my Yolanda. And my thought process for this was even though it's very slow, it's very steady, meaning that over time I will eventually get my Yolanda as opposed to if I keep buying the gear, I will never be able to get Yolanda because the chances of summoning her are very, very small. So at least this way I sacrifice a little bit on the gear, which most of it I can farm anyway. And through the slow and steady process, I know that eventually I'm going to be able to get Yolanda. And if I pull another one in the process, that'll just give me a secondary copy for Ascension. So that is the decision that I made. And it's been quite some time. It's been about four or five months now I've been at it. It's very slow. However, I need a couple more weeks, maybe another month or so, and then I should have her, which sounds like a long time, but it's really not. All I need is 20 more fragments, which is going to be awesome, or 20 more Hero Matrix, I should say. I'm going down to the arena shop. It's time for me to buy the Hierarchy Solar Arcana. As you can see, it only costs 2,000, and the I have over 3,000 arena tokens, and that is why I keep playing arena. I didn't play much this week, but I do keep playing it, and this is actually awesome. The Hierarchy Solar Arcana allows you to ascend legendary heroes, everything but light and dark. You can ascend fire, water, and wood, and let's go ahead and grab that together. That is going to be awesome. And that makes it two legendary solar arcanas that I now have. I call it my legendary solar arcana because it's used to ascend legendaries. And right now, that puts me at two. I can't click on it anymore. I have to wait for the next reset. But hopefully, by the time the next reset comes, I'll have another 800 and I'll be able to get one more. Hey, you're still watching the video. That means you're enjoying the content. And if you're enjoying the content, that means somebody else will also. Click the subscribe button below and help this video reach more people so they can enjoy it as well. So that is awesome. Then I come down to the trial shop and for me personally, as much as I would like this ancient summoning crystal, I don't buy it or at least not yet. I am keeping on working on this Awakened Soul Arcana. As you can see, I have two. I just spent a couple and I have two left. And right now, I'm almost halfway on the trial tokens. I have to run a few more trials. So usually what I do is I save my trial tokens for the Awakened Soul Arcana. If most of your heroes are maxed out, you're probably not watching this video because you you buy your way through the game, which is totally fine. But what I was going to say is if most of your heroes are maxed out, or at least the ones that matter, you can start buying either pumpkins or advanced summoning crystals, and that'll work out really well. For me personally, I like to buy the Awakened Soul Arcana. That is the next thing that I do, and eventually I'll get to the Ancient Summoning Crystal. However, I need Ascensions because I don't pull a lot of shards. So for me, the best thing to do is to continue running Endless Trial and keep collecting the Awakened Soul Arcana. Next thing is the Event Shop. Now in the Event Shop, as you could see, you can buy Orac, and this is where I started. Originally, I started buying Orac, and I have just recently pulled my last copy of Orac, and I believe I got all the other ones from here. I have been purchasing Hero Matrix with the Event Tokens, slow and steady, and I ended up purchasing, I believe it was five copies of Orac, I just pulled myself my last copy of Orex, so I no longer need them. So right now, I'm in the position of either buying the five-star pumpkin, which I can't afford at the moment, or buying the advanced summoning crystals. And of course, I can do that at any time I want. After the weekly reset, you can buy three, and that helps a lot, right? And that helps. I made a video on how to get 100 advanced summoning crystals just by playing the game. This is one of the ways to do it. 
And then of course the diamond shop is another way to do it. You can get three here and there are lots of different ways to do it as well. Watch the video. You can get them just by playing the game and just by participating. You don't have to spend any money on shards and you can get yourself at least 100 advanced summoning crystals every single month, which means you can get one guaranteed legendary every single month. And if you purchase the magic pass, that means you can get two guaranteed legendaries every single month. And if you get lucky, you can get maybe three or four. So that works out really, really nice. So the advanced shop, event shop, we're gonna go ahead and grab these. So that is all done. That is three for the week, right? And I'll be able to get another three next week, which is nice. That's 12 per month right there, which works out really nice. And then I go down to the hero essence shop. Now in the hero essence shop, you can see that I can get five every single week, which makes it 20 per month. Advanced summoning crystals are available five. You do need hero essence. Right now I have 200 and that's gonna work out really, really nice. I'm actually just shy. So to get some hero essence, what I wanna do is I wanna go back to the main screen. I wanna go to the altar on the bottom, click on the altar, go down to banishment. And then what you can do is you can actually, you can sacrifice some of these copies and you will get yourself some of these hero essence. Now the rares here do give you hero essence and you can get 10 at a time. Let me just go ahead and round that off because I like to see round numbers. They work really well with me. The other thing you can also do is I used to be able to double click, which no longer works for me. So what I typically do now is I click the first one and then I click somewhere in the middle and I, I actually hold both mouse buttons down at the same time. And that typically selects all of them. Sometimes it does, sometimes it does not. But usually it'll select all of them or almost all of them, all very similar. And that way, this is how I get my hero essence. Now for the green border, which is the rare, it gives you hero essence. And then if you start looking at something else, I probably don't have any, I upgraded them. But if you start ranking up anything, or if you start banishing anything that is not a rare that has a green border, you will start to get yourself gold. And that's a really good way to get gold. I personally don't struggle with gold. I farm a lot, but that's a really good way to get gold. And this is what I usually do is I'll go through and I'll sacrifice a few of these and get myself enough hero essence. And then what I'll do is I'll go back to the barber, go back to the barber, go into the event shop, go into the hero essence shop, I should say. That was on the bottom. I knew it was the last one. I'll go ahead and grab myself these five advanced summoning crystals every single week. And that's going to give me an additional 20, which is very, very nice. And there we go. Boom. Just like that. Five crystals this week, six days, 11 hours to reset there. So that'll give me five next week for 20 a month. And then, of course, we can get another three from the event shop. And then the trial in the arena, I buy the Arcanas. The Guild Vault, I end up buying Yolanda. And the Diamond Shop as well, it gives me three every single week as well. So that works out really, really nice. So that is my routine for the barber. When I go through, or I should say the bartender, he looks like a barber, he could be, but uh, that is the bartender. Then I'll go through, of course, if you have the Magic Pass, you can also get some stuff from the Magic Pass. And there we go. I got some pumpkins there, and I got one advanced summoning crystal. It's not a lot, but I also get 50 Stardust. It does help, right? So that helps a little bit. And every 10 levels, you get one. So there's five a month there. That's not really a ton, but it is five additional to help you get to your mercy. And then what I typically do is I'll go to Dungeons, I'll go to Bounty Hunt, and I'll go to Dispatch. And then when I'm over here, go ahead and do all your quests. Make sure you select all of your quests, you do all of your dispatches. And then if I complete any quests, which is going to be more, most likely closer to the end of the week, I will go through and claim all of my quests there, and that will give you advanced summoning crystals as well. There's such a delay. I wish I could just double click it and it would just collect. There's such a delay with collecting this. But here it is, and then I'll go through and I'll go to the dispatch quest, and you can see I start, started already completing one. Of course, the week just reset, so these won't be complete till the end of the week, but that is typically what I do. And then I'll just go through and put a few, at least the first couple of days, I'll just auto everything. And then depending on what I have left, I'll go through and I'll make sure I'll refresh. I'll make sure I get all of mine, or at least some of them. I don't always get all of them, but at least I get some of the quests completed. I'll go through and make sure I complete the Chrysos and the Lacer, the Sylvan Woods, and then the Free Cities. So that is my mission for this week. And that'll give me another five here, which is really, really cool. And then, of course, if you get five every single week, you get yourself another 20 there. And that kind of completes my routine, which is very, very nice. And I feel like that's a good thing to do. And then, of course, doing your events and doing your logins every day, doing your quests. You also get yourself some uh, shards over here as well 
doing your weekly quests. You don't get them during the daily quests, but you do get them to, during the weekly quests. And this game gives you plenty of shards, as I've mentioned. I made a full video. I can throw that up on the screen. I made a full video. I can, If I remember, I will leave a link in the description below as well on how to get 100 shards every single month, 100 advanced summoning crystals every single month just by playing the game without spending any money. That is what I've been doing, and that is exactly why I share my routine with you because it works for me. I am not free to play, but I am very low spend, and it works for me really well, and I've been able to get myself some really nice legendaries without really buying any shards. So as you can see, I got myself a lot of legendaries. Half of them I got lucky on. Half of them came from the Magic Pass, and then one of them came from the Advanced uh, the Limited Summons, which was really nice, which was my favorite hero, Blackhorn. He's not leveled yet, but he will be. So that is going to complete my process of the weekly reset. I hope that helps to get you not only some more advanced summoning crystals, but also it helps to get you some more resources as well by following my weekly reset routine. And if you did not know that you can get 100 advanced summoning crystals every single month just by playing the game and completing different missions and different quests, now you know. So that is going to do it for me. Leave me a nice comment below. Also, leave me a like and a subscribe to help me grow the channel. I thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.